Okay, so here's what I have in mind. Okay. 5.7 serratus. So let's take an example of a serratus. This is a very, very simple one. And in fact, you'll see that it is actually the first problem in your homework. All right, you have all A or B. The second premise is no B or C. Uh, the third premise is some D or C. And the fourth premise is some D or not A. And that's the conclusion. Right? So you can see, obviously, this is a not in standard form, right? We have more than three terms, right? Um, and we have missing premises to link them together. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what's missing and how we can make sense of it. Now, the first thing you have to do is put the sororities in order. In this first case, it's already done for you, right? But how do you know that? Remember, this is the minor term, right? This is the subject of the conclusion, which is the minor term. And the predicate of the conclusion is considered the major term, which means, if you remember, the major term always has to begin first, right? So we have our A here, right? Now, this one's easy because we can. there's going to be multiple middle terms, right? So here we have our middle term B, right? Maybe it'd be helpful, right? I'll put the middle terms in blue, right? So here we have all A or B and no B or C. So the question is, what can we conclude with that? We have a middle term, right? And which means that whatever we conclude, right, you can think about your four rules, right? Is that it has to be a negative premise and it can't be a particular conclusion. So we're probably going to have to conclude that no C are A, right? we can't use the B again. So here's what we're going to conclude. We'll draw a line and we'll go no C R A. Right? And we know to put a negative term because we if we have one negative premise we have to have a negative conclusion. And we also know that since C is in the second line it has to be the subject term. So we have no C R A. So here's what we've done is so we know that this is the conclusion. So this conclusion now is going to function as the first premise for this next argument. So what we might want to do is just slide it all over. Right, where we have some D R C. Right? And so here we have uh, where in this case instead C is our middle term, right? A is still, is going to be our minor term and D is going to be our middle term. Now, in this case, since we have a particular, we know that our conclusion has to be particular, right? And also that C is going to be the major, is going to be the, I'm sorry, D is going to be the minor term, and A is going to be the, I'm sorry, D is going to be the major term, and A is going to be the minor term. In fact, it's the same conclusion we have here. We have to conclude it such that we'd say some D are not a. Okay? Now, I again apologize for the, my horrible handwriting, but you can see that what we have here is we really have two different arguments, right? The first argument was this, and this is the second argument. It's the second set of premises, right? Where this one line, no CRA, actually functioned as the missing premise of the second argument and the missing conclusion of the first argument, right? And then you can test for validity using those terms. But before we do that, let's try another example that might be a little bit more difficult. Right? Um, I don't want to go too crazy given the cons constraints of our time. Um, let me give you this example. Let's say we have all A or B. Right. Some C or not A. Or not, I'm sorry, some C or not B. And then we have no C or D. And then our conclusion is that some D are not A. Right. So the task we have to do here is determine whether or not this argument is valid or invalid. And the first thing we need to do is conclude whether or not what sort of missing premise we might may or may not have, right? So in this case, what we'll do 
is we'll say, okay, we have to make sure that, right, first look at the minor term and the major term, or I'm sorry, the major term and the minor term, right? And the minor term has to be the first line, so A. Okay, that's going to work. We have a B, we have a B here, so that means we're going to have to conclude something with C, right? Uh, in fact, we can just draw our line over here, and since this is, uh, has a particular, it's going to need to be a particular, and it has to be negative 2, because we have the not. So our conclusion, this is going to be something like sum A, I'm sorry, sum C or not A. Right? And we can slide this over and say that the next line here is going to be no C or D. Right? Where here you can understand how we get the next premise, right? Or the, or the conclusion here, which was from here, which is sum D or not A. And in this case, it still works out, right? Because here we have D, which is the, again, this is the major term, and it's on the second line. And we have A, which is up here. And our middle term is this C right here. But we have to determine whether or not it's valid. And in order for us to write these to be valid, each individual component has to be valid. Our first syllogism, which was here's the premises, here's the conclusion, that was valid. This second one is not valid though. Why? Because look, there's two negative premises, no C or D and some C or not A, right? Which means we're concluding negatively, but remember that was one of the five, five rules that you can't have two premises. We could do a Venn diagram to show that it's invalid as well. But we don't need to, since we can see right away that it has to be invalid because it utilizes two negative premises. So in a nutshell, this is what sororities do. Um, there's a lot more to say, and it really requires practice, though. Um, so what you need to do is read the lesson, which also tries to kind of lay it out systematically. Um, read your chapter, which gives you a number of examples. Do, um, complete the lesson review, and then slowly work through these on your homework. Um, nothing more than practice is going to help you do this, but you'll see with your work on enthymemes, you'll be in good, you'll be in a good situation in order to complete these. Okay, thanks.